Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use the Zoom controller on the iPhone 15 series. Now the feature is designed to make the iPhone screen more accessible for individuals with visual impairments or those who need to magnify uh, the content for easier reading. It also allows users to zoom in on a specific part of the screen, making text, images, and icons larger and more readable. So to access the zoom controller, first let's go back to the home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. On the home screen, tap on settings. Then in settings, scroll down and tap on accessibility. So tap on accessibility and then tap on zoom. Next, we go down and tap on zoom controller. At the top here is the show controller toggle button. You can tap on the toggle button to turn off or uh, switch on the zoom controller. Once you have turned it on, you have shortcuts assigned to the controller, uh, which you can execute. So here are the three different shortcuts that you can uh, use. Uh, single tap, double tap, and triple tap. You can change the function for each of these actions. So if you tap on single tap, you can assign none. So we turn off uh, the single tap. Or you can choose show menu, zoom or zoom out, speak on touch. At the moment, these two items has been grayed out or disabled because they have been already been assigned to double tap or triple tap. If you want to change the function of this uh, single step, uh, let's say you want to assign single zoom in or out to a single tap. What you do is you go down to double tap and then you select none. After that, you go back and then tap on single tap. Now after that, you can choose zoom in or zoom out. So that is how you can change the controller actions for the single tap or double tap or triple tap. So you do the same for double tap and triple tap. You go in and you select the function that you want to use. And the next one is the adjust zoom level. Now let's uh, uh, have a look at a demo on how you can use single tap, double tap, and triple tap. So here, once the controller has been uh, turned on, you can see if I tap on it once, it will show the menu. From the menu, I can choose zoom in. So if I tap on it, it will zoom in on my screen. Now at the bottom of the window, there is a handle. I can touch and hold to the handle and I can drag it around the screen and this will allow me to zoom in or uh, zoom out. Okay, so if I tap on that handle again, it will show the menu. From here, I can choose show region and I can select full screen. So here is the full screen and when it is in full screen, I can uh, drag on the controller and I can move it around my screen like that. Okay, so tap on the controller again. We'll open the menu, and if I tap on choose region and select window zoom, then it will only zoom within this window right here. Now tapping on the handle, we'll open up the menu again, and in here I can tap on resize lens. This will allow me to resize the lens or the window's size. And now my window is larger and I can move it around the screen with a larger um, window. The next option is the filter. So I can tap on choose filter and I can choose grayscale, grayscale inverted or low light. So you can see here, this we applied in my zoom area. So I can change a different color, which make it um, the text or the image inside the window stand out uh, for easier uh, reading. And tapping on the handle again, we will reopen the menu. From here, I can resize. So I can zoom in or zoom out. So I can resize the zoom level. Or I can tap on hide controller to hide the controller up here. I can then choose show controller to we show the controller button. So that is the menu option. And here I can um, tap on it again. So double tap on it to hide the controller. Now, 
cabinet to show the control to show the menu tap on it again to uh, hide the menu next is the double tap so i can double tap on this to quickly zoom in or zoom out so you can see i can double tap on the controller to zoom in or zoom out and triple tap if i triple tap on that it will show a finger icon this will allow me to select on the screen where you want to have the text read out so here if i tap on this the zoom controller allows quick access to zoom controls when zoomed out drag to reposition you can stop the um, the text uh, read aloud by simply tapping on the stop button right there the zoom controller allowed so that will immediately stop the the speech now the bottom here is the adjust zoom level and so here when double tap and slide on the controller to adjust the zoom level so if i double tap on this controller and then drag it up or down this will allow me to open the zoom window and i can also uh, resize it as well so here yeah, i can drag it in and up so I can move it up and down to adjust the zoom level. So that is another shortcut that you could use. And Double tap, zoom in out. And finally, you can change the color of the zoom controller and the idle opacity. So you change the color, you tap on the color option right here and you can change it to yellow, orange, green, red, blue or white. And finally, you can change the idle opacity. At the moment, it is set to 46%. If you want to make it really transparent, you can drag it all the way to the left-hand side. And you can see you can barely see it on the screen. Now, it will become visible once you touch on it, but once it becomes idle, it, goes, uh, it will go to transparent. And that's it. So that is how you can use the Zoom controller on the iPhone 15 series. To turn off the zoom controller, just simply tap on show controller toggle button at the top to switch it off. And that's it. Finally, you can swipe up to go back to the home screen. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.